Saguaro National Park is a fantastic desert park encompassing over 92,000 acres and an uncountable amount of saguaro cacti. The park is split into two sections on both the east and west side of the city of Tucson. And while it's possible to see most of the park's best spots in one day, I would recommend carving out more time than that to experience it. I spent over a week in Tucson exploring the park and the city and here are some of my favorite places on both the east and west sides of Saguaro National Park. Let me know what I left off in the comments so I can see it on my next visit and let's jump into it starting with the west side. While both sides of the park are amazing, I like the west side best. It has some of the most beautiful areas for sunset with the ability to quickly get up above the surroundings and soak it in from a high vantage point. Plus it also has incredible hikes and the Sonora Desert Museum right outside of the park. Here are my favorite spots on the west side in no particular order. Hohokam Road is a six mile long scenic loop that's one way and has some of the park's best short trails. Just driving the scenic loop is impressive as you'll get to see many saguaros on both sides of you, but I recommend getting off and exploring some of the trails. The first trail I recommend is Valley View Trail. Valley View is less than one mile round trip and it lets you get up close to massive saguaros and introduces you to the park's landscape and ecology. The trail ends at a viewpoint that overlooks a field of saguaro and it's one of the best places in the park for sunset. It's a nice family-friendly hike in the national park. Next up we have the Signal Hill Trail. Signal Hill is located a little further down Hohokam Road and is another short trail with many different picnic benches right near the parking area. The trail is less than a half mile round trip and it takes you up to the top of a small hill that has rocks on the top with petroglyphs on them. The petroglyphs are really well preserved and clear and it's easy to see them when you get to the top, making this another great family friendly trail with a good payoff at the end. Plus it's a good spot for a picnic with all the benches near the parking area. Next up we have Desert Discovery Nature Trail. For the last of my short trails on the western side of the park, the Desert Discovery Nature Trail is another good family friendly option. This trail is paved and it has many information plaques along the way that allow you to learn more about the park, the animals that live there, and the saguaros. It's pretty flat the whole time so it's a nice introduction to the park when it's hot and you don't want to exert much energy. There is no shade though, just like most of the trails in the park. Next up we have Wasson Peak Trail. Moving on to some of the longer trails in the park, Wasson Peak is a fantastic option. This trail takes you up to the top of the west side's tallest peak and provides unparalleled 360 degree views of the surrounding landscape. It's a challenging trail at around 8 miles round trip with 1700 feet of elevation gain, but the payoff is worth it and the trail up is excellent as you get to see lots of saguaro and even some wildflowers in the spring. I wouldn't recommend doing it in the summer though as there's no shade and probably pretty miserable. You can see my full video on this trail in the description. Next up we have the Sonora Desert Museum. Before heading to my sunset recommendation, you should spend some time at the Sonora Desert Museum even though it's not technically in Saguaro National Park. This spot feels like a combination of a zoo, a botanical garden, and a museum. There's a lovely desert trail in the back that you can walk to see many of the area's animals. There are demonstrations you can see with raptor birds that live in the park, and there's an extensive cave exhibit that children can explore. Plus there's even an aquarium which you would never expect to see in the middle of the desert. It's a fun spot to explore and a great way to spend a half day near Saguaro National Park. Next up is Gates Pass. For my last recommendation on the west side, it's hard to beat the Gates Pass area. This spot is not technically in the national park either, but it's close and it looks out over the park from its viewpoint. Gates Pass sits on top of the pass that leads into Saguaro West and it's an incredible place for sunset. The view is high above the desert landscape, allowing you to look down on a field of saguaro stretching out in front of you. You won't be alone here as it's a popular sunset spot, but there's a lot of area to spread out so you can get your own viewpoint when watching the sunset. That ends my west side spot, so now we're heading to Saguaro National Park East. Driving across Tucson brings us to the park's east side, known as the Rincon Mountain area. This part of the park has many longer trails, but most people who visit here only do the 8 mile scenic drive. Here are some of my favorite spots along the scenic drive, and do note that most of these stops only have a couple parking spots, so it can be hard to stop at all of them. First up we have all the overlooks on the Cactus Forest Drive. After paying to enter the park, you'll start the one lane road through Saguaro National Park East, which is known as Cactus Forest Drive. There are dozens of unmarked pullouts and some marked pullouts that you can stop at. 
I recommend taking your time on this drive and stopping in as many as possible that you can find parking at. Next up we have the Mica View Picnic Area. This area is a few miles off the main loop on a dirt road. It's an excellent way to get away from the crowds during the drive and there's a nice picnic area at the end of the road. It's also the starting point for many of the park's longer hikes. I've been told it's excellent for sunset here as well, but I've never seen it myself. Next up we have the Desert Ecology Trail. The Desert Ecology Trail is a stop along the drive and it's less than one mile round trip. The trail takes you into the park and allows you to see some of the saguaros and other plant life. It has information plaques that tell you about the park, including its history and geology. It's an excellent introduction to the east side and a good family-friendly easy hike. Next up we have the Javelina Rocks Overlook. Javelina Rocks is one of my favorite overlooks on the drive. There are only like three parking spots here, but it's fun to explore the massive rocks right next to the parking area if you can get one. This is also one of the higher up viewpoints in the park and it's a great spot to look out over the saguaros and a popular area for sunset on the east side. Don't confuse the Javelina Rocks Overlook with our next recommendation which is the Javelina Picnic Area. As you near the Javelina Picnic Area, you'll leave the one lane road and be on a two lane road again. Be sure to look out for the crested saguaro right off the road as you approach the picnic area. Once you get there, you can hang out by the picnic benches or head out to my last recommendation in this part of the park, the Tinque Verde Ridge Trail. The Tinque Verde Ridge Trail goes 10 miles into the park's backcountry, but I've only ever walked a few miles myself. The trail gains elevation pretty quickly, so it can be a good sunset spot as you head up. About three-fourths of a mile in, you'll have gained enough elevation to see a decent amount of the park out towards downtown Tucson. It's a beautiful spot to end your day at on the east side of Saguaro National Park or for a longer hike if you're feeling up to it. So there you have it, some of my favorite places in Saguaro National Park. Let me know what I missed in the comments and you can see all of my favorite Tucson recommendations in the description. We will see you on the next video.